Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at Newton's third law and how to calculate momentum. So we want to think about momentum as a measurement of an object's inertia. So when we are calculating momentum, we're going to use the formula momentum equals mass times velocity. So let's look at our practice problems today. So we have momentum is represented by a P because we already have M being used for mass. So we don't want to get those two things confused. So we're using P for momentum. The units for momentum is kilograms, meters per second. The mass is going to be in kilograms and the velocity V is in meters per second. So if you have the mass in grams or pounds, you have to convert it over into kilograms. And the same for velocity, if it's in kilometers per hour or in miles per hour, you're gonna have to convert it over to meters per second. Okay, so let's look at our math triangle. So the P for momentum is gonna go in the top. The mass and the velocity are gonna go in the bottom. So we have momentum is mass times velocity. If we're looking for velocity, it's gonna be momentum divided by mass. And if we're looking for mass, it's gonna be momentum divided by velocity. Okay, so for the first part of this worksheet for part one, we're looking for momentum. So for this whole first part, we're using the formula momentum equals mass times velocity. Okay, so let's do example number one together. It says, what is the momentum of a 52 kilogram skateboarder that has a velocity of 3.5 meters per second. So again, the kilograms is the mass. So we're gonna put that here with the M, 52 kilograms. And the velocity is 3.5 meters per second. So that goes here with the V. And we're looking for momentum. So all of part one, we're using the same formula, P equals M times V. So here we're gonna show our work. So we're gonna take what was given to us in the word problem, plug it into our formula, so we know what we're gonna put into our calculator. So 52 times 3.5. We'll put that in our calculator to get our final answer. So that gives us 182. And then the units here for momentum, kilograms, meters per second. Okay. Okay, so pause the video, do questions one, two, three, and four, all with this same formula. Okay, let's look at part two. Part two, we are finding the mass. So when we are finding mass, we are going to be doing momentum divided by velocity. So for all of part two, we're using that same formula, mass equals momentum divided by velocity. Okay, so let's look at example number two. Example number two says, what is the mass of a ball if it has 12 kilograms meters per second of momentum and a velocity of 40 meters per second. So let's figure out where these numbers go over here. Okay, so 12 kilogram meters per second, that's going to be the momentum. Remember that momentum is represented by P, not M. So P is 12 kilograms meters per second, and the velocity V is 40 meters per second. So that'll come over here, and we are looking for the mass M. So our formula, mass equals momentum divided by velocity. So we're going to take these numbers and plug them into our formula to show our work. So this is going to be 12 divided by 40. 
So when I put this into my calculator, I want to make sure that I enter this number first. So the top goes in your calculator first, and then hit your divide by sign. Okay, so we're going to do 12 divided by 40. So we're going to get 0 0.3. We were looking for the mass, and the mass here is going to be in kilograms. So those are the units. Okay, so we're going to use the same formula, P over V, for numbers 5 and number 6. Okay, so try those two, and then pause the video and move on to part three. Okay, so for part three, we're looking at finding velocity. So when we're finding velocity, we're gonna do momentum divided by mass. So for all of section three, it's going to be the same formula, velocity equals momentum divided by mass. Okay, so let's look at example number three. It says, what is the velocity of a 0.1 kilogram tennis ball if it has 25 kilograms meters per second of momentum? Okay, so for this one, the velocity V is what we are looking for. 0.1 kilograms is gonna be the mass and 25 is going to be the momentum. So for this, we are looking for velocity, so we're using the formula V equals P over M. So we're dividing momentum divided by mass. So take this and show your work. So we're gonna do 25 divided by 0 0.1, and remember whatever is on top goes in the calculator first. Okay, so when you put it in your calculator, you're going to do 25 divided by 0 0.1, and you should get 250. This is looking for velocity, so our units for velocity is meters per second. Okay, so try the rest of part three. That's question seven, and question eight is going to use the same exact formula. Okay, good luck, and let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day.